What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So it's been a little while since we've done some match analysis on this channel. Uh, the other day there was a Japanese exhibition like one a couple of months ago, again, four invited players, single elimination bracket. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the footage. If you like the content I'm putting out, please consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel if you already have not, or do both. It does help the channel grow. It's free and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think this is the same thing as uh, before, right? But they're doing a single limb bracket. Okay, so it's the same thing as before. They did this before. Uh, so then as usual, they're gonna vote on who they think is gonna win. It's Goichi, Bababan, Fenrich, and Aqua. Goichi using God knows what team. Bababan probably playing Kid Buu. Kid Buu, Bardock, and somebody. Fenrich, I mean, we know. And Aqua is playing like Ginyu, SJ, Vegeta, something. So again, they're net playing too. Okay. Ooh, so this, this one's a little bit different too. Because there's an unsponsored player. Also, by the way, Fenrich won the last one. Goichi did not win this last time. Fenrich won last time. All right. Ooh, he's playing Roshi. Uh oh. We got 480p Bamaban versus Goichi. Bamaban playing Bardock B. Kid Buu C. GT Goku. GT Goku Anchor is kind of a weird choice. So in Japan, Kid Buu C is mad popular compared to here, right? Mad popular. Really, really popular. Goichi is playing Master Roshi. Uh, I think Master Roshi mid is the, is the play. And you guys just watched me play for the past hour. Maybe YouTube has not, but you guys just watched me play Master Roshi for the past hour. Master Roshi mid is definitely the way. That B is just as fucking stupid. GT Goku anger. I mean, it's it's especially compared to season two. It's just not as good. But both teams are kind of like I'm gonna stay in the lead teams. When you see teams like this, you know, and similar to having SJ Goku anger, it's like uh, uh, my whole plan is I'm not trying to lose, so I shouldn't have to play him anyway, type of thing. It really shows you how confident he is in Master Roshi, like, and how good Master Roshi is, though. Remember last season, Goichi played uh, GT Goku at Combo Breaker three weeks after the character came out, and he won Combo Breaker. One of the most important things that people forget about this game, and it's kind of funny looking at Goichi's team right now, Goichi's Season 1 meta-defining character, Bardock, and then Season 2 meta-defining character, GT Goku, and then maybe... Season 3 meta-defining character? Roshi? We don't know. But, we'll see. The character is still pretty new. Yes, that is exactly my plan. Yeah, because we didn't actually watch that much of this match. And they're playing really similar teams. But the big difference is Goichi's only playing one beam. Bambalon's playing two. And Goichi's playing Roshi, and he believes in Roshi. That blocks on assist. The thing I really want to talk about is what is about to come up. Because I usually pass over this thing, but uh, I've been thinking about this. And it's what he does here. So, I mean, in, that, in this example, Goichi gets out, right? But uh, actually, I guess it's like a season two thing. And I still kind of believe this, depending on what character you play. But uh, in season two, I had a thing where I was like, you need like, you basically need like four setups for your character. You can't just do like one setup because the way the, the way the knockdown system works is like your opponent, like if your opponent sees you doing the same setup over and over, um, and it, if you're just going to like do a safe jump, your opponent will eventually be like, man, like I'm going to do like neutral tech reflect, or I'm going to like try to delay down tech run under, like they're going to try to like do something. So you need to like actually vary what you're selecting. And uh, once in a while you see Goichi do like some weird shit. Like he'll knock you down, do super jump fast fall button or something. Like he doesn't do like just one type of safe jump. He does like several to kind of like mess with your eyes kind of. But he let, he let Bum 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 out here. Uh, it, and, and it depends on your character. Like if you're out here playing Piccolo, it doesn't matter. But uh, for some characters it does matter. Bum Bum didn't take this turn even though he had meter. It can be hard sometimes, I get it. Okay. Roshi doing his job. Roshi's a new character too, so this is this is the gamble, right? It's it's also partly no one knows how to fight him. No one's used to that assist. It's basically a DP assist though. Honestly, it's pretty much a DP assist. Like the way people use it. Ah, oh, he got him to stagger. That's a dead character. 
Uh, or not, he's not used to confirms. Roshi. He gets 50-50 here. Kibu. Using the super dash as a beam. So his super dash is also a beam. You saw this from me earlier in like usage. Yeah, so Roshi activates guard point on frame 15. He activates guard point uh, before you can see him basically. That's really strong. That's really strong. Y'all kind of saw me doing this earlier. Guard point plus assist call. With Bardock B, he gets his turn. Here we go. The game's starting. Bam, bam, bam. Peeling off. Super dash. The guard point. That's a dead Kibu, right? Oh, no. He delayed too much. Controlling space out here. Ah, he got him. So that's, that super dash does have a lot of uh, recovery on whiff. That's probably the, like its main issue. But as long as you don't miss, it's fine. As long as you don't miss, mostly is the main thing. He doesn't have a horizontal beam with him right now. Ba oh, he what? That was weird. Okay. The game has officially begun. He's going to get 50-50. Oh, he reflected. Too bad. This is damage. What route does he do? I gotta learn bombos for this character. That's a dead Bardock. And GT's out. GT definitely likes Roshi. He has to like Roshi. The GT neutral you're gonna see is gonna be, he has two blocks on assist right now, and GT has like tracking moves. Oh, nice, he got him though. Oh, we got a hand cam for Goichi. Okay. Reminder that you, you guys would be cool if you heard Goichi's buttons. Side swap. Yes, sir. Side swap. Yes, sir. Into the down. Yeah, again, he did it again. The super jump fastball. He's really fond of that. This is a combo. I mean, he's dead. I mean, this game's over, basically, actually. He's gonna get like a one. Oh, he's gonna do it like this, Roshi at the end. DPS, no, but like DPS has got patched, but uh, a lot of characters have like reversal that's not a DP into assist in the game right now. A lot of characters have it. The thing is like, there are a ton of characters with four frames. There's not a lot of characters with one frames. Uh, for the most part, like you can't do, you can only do like one frames that don't have full invul. So like a character like Cell can do like reversal EX perfect attack into like Yamcha call. Also believe in a Kid Buu anchor. Mm, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum's out here. That yellow, that piss yellow Kid Buu. All right, what are you doing? I mean, Kibu's neutral is so good. Uh, that's what we call the gun. This is what we call the gun. Goichi shot him with the gun. Let me show you what the gun is. For all you Bardock players out there, because I know, oh shit. We keep this in, we keep this in, we keep this in. We keep it natural. For all you Bardock players out there, let me tell you about the gun, bro. Goichi used the gun on him. Watch his movement. Watch his movement. Watch his movement. This is this is mostly possible though because he's playing Bardock with an assist. You see that? Do, do you see where he? Aimed? This is a good fucking lariat. This is a great lariat. That's an amazing lariat, dude. I'm gonna play it in slow motion for you fucking jobbers who don't understand what's going on. Okay, we're gonna play this in the slowest motion possible so that everyone can see. Right. All right, watch this. Okay, so go eat you to key blast. Goichi pulls up. Bombon's airborne. Bombon air dashes back. Lands. Tries to do something when he lands. So you cover you cover the line when they land with Lariat. That's how you use Lariat. That's the difference between like a scrubby Lariat and a godlike Lariat. My dude shot him with the gun, bro. With GT and assist that go up, like trunks and shit, it's even better. But uh and of course he's playing GT, right? So he shot him with the gun. Pow. That's the difference between Larry and Larry. Straight up. Not trip guard. Bonbon tried to do something when he landed. When Bardock, when you land near Bardock, you can't do anything. He could just Larry at you. You're minus. 
You're minus, bro. The only thing you can do is DP. That's it. All right, game two. It's first to two. Ooh, he tried to up punch. Okay, slipping out of there. So, like, the neutral is... Oh, I was going to say, the neutral is theoretically better with uh, Bombamon's team because he has double beam. Uh, of course, that's proven, right? But you can't actually win with just one beam, though. That has also been proven. Gut punch. Nice tech with the vanish. The only reason why I said it's nice because it worked. Walk under. Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. that's what I like to see. Look at this, look at this. Ooh, the delay, the little delay. Gets him, gets him with the dive. He does the combo that I don't like doing. Ooh, he goes for the reset. Ah, but Roshi's there. You're dead. That's a dead Bardock. Oh, oh, did anyone catch this? Look at Baba Bon. Look at, for, okay, there's two, there's two levels. Ah, I like how they have the player cameras. All right, look at Baba Bon, right? Look at him, look at him. Okay, he's like, fuck, okay. He's gonna do his combo. He's leaning in. He's thinking about what to do, right? Goichi's just doing what he's doing. He goes for a soft down. Gets okie doked. <laughs> I feel you though. I feel you, homie. Just accept that. Just accept that Bardock is dead, and we continue to play the game. The best part about fighting games, he he has the mic. He has the mic on his headset. You can't talk to anyone, bro. That's you. You got you gotta talk to Kid Boo and say save me. Save me. All right, Roshi's in. Jokes aside, Roshi's in. Ooh, see, okay. This this is the beginning of the Roshi. For all the people who are like, Roshi doesn't have a super dash. He's awkward. This is the beginning. His movement is also a beam, bro. My dude is moving here. Nice combo from Goichi. He's going to get the knockdown here to J2B. Safe jump. Hat spark. Oh, my God. He did it to the... Oh, that was good. He did it to the vanish. I don't even know if you get a... You, you can get, like get away from that. That move is really minus, but he has a lot of options. He gets them. So that's not like a 50-50, but like no one really knows. You know, like when I was labbing him, I was like, he doesn't really have 50-50s. Oh, why is he going for this? Oh, he's trying to go for some sauce. Boing. I have a command grab. Okay, I'm sorry. His, uh, his Roshi's still a little, it's not sweaty yet. It's not sweaty. It's not sweaty. He'll like do something godlike and then drop the combo. Again, controlling the space, that's just plus. Roshi always in sparking if you don't miss. Into knockdown. Into Bardock. Okay, he goes for the float mix up. Baba Mom blocks. Bombon got the full flow, and I feel it too. When you're, when you're, there, there are times when you're blocking Dragon Ball where you're like your whole being is into that defense. Goichi mega smoking him right now. Though this is this is a really hard comeback. This is a really hard comeback. Need some air to air. Yeah, this game is a formality at this point. I think this game's over. I can't be that Bardock still. I mean, the devs though, with with putting it behind float and fast fall, it locks out most people from doing it though it's not like just do up punch and get your mix you know you got to be able to execute he just tackle tackle into roshi the game over baba bon leans back goichi takes it roshi roshi to go so right now by the way right now by the way there are a lot of us players they're not playing roshi but like ui is like that like like a lot of people's strategy in like New York right now is like, oh, I'm gonna just like whiff some shit with Kibu and then I'm gonna call UI and he's invincible. So like, what are you gonna do? Fenrich versus uh, Aqua. Nuki saying, I will fuck you up in Street Fighter Alpha 2 and Alpha 3. Whoa, okay. So Fenrich is playing, not Bardock actually. Uh, he's playing Cell, SSJ Vegeta as usual. But he's playing GT, that's J Vegeta. So 45 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree. Wow, three 45 degrees. Says. Aqua is playing Ginyu A, SJ Vegeta C, Yamcha B. So we don't even talk about Yamcha B because we already know. That's the wolf, he's in the back, he's waiting. The lone wolf, blah, blah, blah. We're used to that, right? SSJ Vegeta C, though. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about SSJ Vegeta C. It's a tracking anti-air assist. That's the DP. It tracks to above jump height. When you block it in the air, he's ridiculously plus. And of course, when it hits, you get a combo. Right? And then he has Ginyu with it. 
for the people who don't know. It's actually a pretty annoying assist. It's just that the A assist is also a GOAT assist as well. Alright. Let's see, Aqua's in here. Aqua's been playing Ginyu literally the whole game. There it is. Ooh, the neutral structure into Raccoon. That is like literally two seconds into the game. <laughs> it comes up. It comes up. Calls it. Calls G Guldo. You try to move. Raccoon beam for the confirm. The only thing is that he's not. Uh, maybe I'm a liar. Maybe he has a confirm that'll give him the Guldo Oki. Uh, he tried. Oof. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe as a confirm that gives him the gold Oki. Okay. He's definitely feeling that drop. That's a big drop. The point war is a huge part of the game at high level. Ah, Fenrich with the double up. Knowing Fenrich too, this could be a death combo or like really close. No, he goes for the easy. Tag. Chasing. Jumps. Spooky. SSJ Vegeta's happening. They kind of are using the same color. No, oh, he got him, but he tried to double up. This is the, I, I didn't believe... He tried to double up there. It'd be like that. Got him that time though. One, two, three. SSJ Vegeta players don't give up with his combos too. Like they've been playing him. Like people just don't give up with characters like SSJ Vegeta and SSJ Goku. I fuck with it. This should be Gold over Kuhn. Oof, he's dead. This is one of the other set play characters. Can you? You're dead, and he's gonna get Goldo for the next knockdown. Good, good job. It's important because like that's his best setup, right? But like by far his best setup. In there at the start around, geez, cross up blocked, overhead not blocked, combo. He's got definitely gonna bombo here. Oh, Aqua pogged too. Did you see him pog? Did you see him pog what he did to Fenrir? Look at him pog. <laughs> Look at. <him. laughs> Why is he pogging? <laughs> anyway, now Aqua is GT Goku. And this game might be over. This game might be over. I'm not gonna lie. This game might be a formality. Mm, is what I would say, but Fenrish does not give up. Doing uh, the body swap to the second character. GT's gonna die? No, he's not. He can't do the... Oh, and he didn't spend the bar. He should have believed. Safe tag from the C assist dive kick. <sighs> Scary. Damn, Ginyu's out here. Are you going to snap? No. Show me that sick Ginyu Oki. Dude, Fenrich's solo Ginyu must be nice. Like, for real. Because Goichi is playing that shit too. The only way you get nice with solo Ginyu is you play Ginyu or you play somebody who body swaps a lot. Nice. Ah, oh, that's hard. No, he can't do the level 3, but he could dump it to Milky Cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Level 3. This is... Uh? I mean, it's even. Oh, no. Oh, he can't do the cross-up. Uh. I love how they nerfed SSJ Vegeta assist and made a bunch of assists that are as good as better in his pre-nerf versions. Are you talking about SSJ Vegeta A? Because if you are, you're a gigantic cap star. I, I hope you're not talking about SSJ Vegeta A. Oh, yeah, yeah, had spark. All right, the game's starting. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Whew, whew, whew. Oh, the 2H. It wasn't plus enough. Parish bleed. You don't even have a bomb with this character, dude. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Aqua's like, why do you have these? Into DR. Why do you have this combo? Because he plays somebody who made it, who body swapped a lot. My dude really does not want to lose to Ginyu. I definitely said this game was a formality, by the way, like a minute ago. Got him with a snipe. Ooh. All right, I'm not, I'm not, sh I'm not salty about Shoddy anymore. Also, look at Aqua Pog again. Look at Aqua Pog again. Yes, the the sigh of relief that that shit worked. The sigh of relief. The meaty blocked. DR attacked. This is serious. Fuzzy jump. Over flag. Double reflect. Here comes Ginyu. Oh, to tackle. Wait, no combo because you have no meter. Oh, my God. All right, all right. We got a real match. 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 Yes. I, oh. Fenrir's got four bars, though. He came with the extra bar because the limb break. He can cross up many ways. Super dash blocked. Oh, you wasted the meter. You might need that meter. Perfect attack whiff. That could have been the game. Core cancel. 
kind of spooky right now. Fanwich threatening. Sell solo neutral is like I but no assist we get to confirm. Oh, I called the game formality and Fenrich won. Yikes, that's what you get for calling the game early. Commentators curse, bro. Commentators curse. I'd be feeling some type of way if I lost that game. And you can see Aqua's feeling it too. Fanrich got the eyes of a soldier right now, dude. The rare, the rare SSJ Vegeta whiff. All right, Gulda Raccoon, you gotta respect that. He didn't, he called Birder a little late. Ah, nice. Okay. The Scramble Mash, here comes Ginyu. Ginyu new combos, of course you're gonna get a slide knocked down into Gulda Raccoon, cause why not? Gulda Raccoon, what do you do? Low blocked, spark immediately. Does that look familiar, stream? This, this is for the stream. Does that type of situation look a little familiar? Did you see that recently or is it just me? Is it just me? Or did we see something really similar to that? Like sometime today, I don't know. Okay, Birder confirmed. These confirms are sick. Cause he's gonna, I mean, if he's a true Ginyu master, which he is, he's gonna get Gudo Raccoon. Oh my God, he gets it all the time. Dragon Rush, he's dead. Again, Aqua has a big lead. The only the only thing here is that he's on uh he's on Birder now. So this this swap is pretty nice. Uh he will probably this is actually pretty bad again. I'm not gonna say the game's over, but the next touch he's gonna go for depending on how he gets it. Ooh, okay. Depending on how he gets it, he's gonna go for uh body swap. Uh it just works out really well. What the fuck? Okay. That was a really curse to him. Can you? Because here he's on birder, so like, like he gets like, he gets to be plus. Yeah, can you for it? Yeah, yeah. See, he's on birder. Overhead blocked. Crawl. Oh my god, I can't believe they gave him some of this shit, man. I really can't believe they gave him some of this shit. Aqua is like definitely one of the sleeper JP players. Like he's on that level, bro. Yo, he's gonna pee. He's gonna pee, Fenrich. Yo, perfect him. Perfect him. Perfect him. Perfect him. Perfect him. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say hood perfect is fine. We'll we'll teach them about the hood perfect next time. Birder, yeah, this is the ground I mean both birders do, but they give him a ground birder, right? So he pushes you out the corner. Yeah, don't don't spark. Oh my god. The the thing about Ginyu, any other character would spark. Any other fucking character would spark here. But instead he's gonna fucking Uh I mean at this point yeah, at this point you might as well just go for the kill. Now you're gonna do comments. Gold over Coom. Nice reflect jump out of there. That's probably like the main flaw of that, huh? Damn, his tackle is good now, bro. Oh, goodbye, Ginyu. But I mean, Ginyu. Oh, okay. He got ground birder in season two, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure in season two he got ground birder. Knocked down. Blocked? Uh oh. Dude, Aqua is always pogging. <laughs> what? Aqua, Aqua is a huge pog champ. Like, my dude's always pogging. Like, Fenrich is a safe jump. Okay. Oh, that's game, right? Sparking. Yes. Some kind of a cap combo here, but like, it's all good. You're gonna do it like this? You're gonna bring Vegeta? What the? Uh. Mm. Slow reaction. Be like that. Oh, nice. Guess a counter vanish. Could have got, could have killed, but you know, whatever. Just keep that lead. Fenrich, like, the, I don't want to say the game is over, but it's kind of over. The, the level you need to outplay here to win this game is uh, pretty difficult, to say the least. Got him that time. Guard cancel works out. Super. Oh, oh, can you just win the game, please? This tournament shit. Tournament's happening. Okay. He DP'd his DP with the DP assist. <laughs> he DP'd his DP with the DP assist. All right, 1 1. 1 up. Remember, Fenrich won last time. Fenrich won last time. 
Why won't JP play UI? I wonder why. Yeah, Super Dash Rolling Cards to Classic. That's kind of hard to confirm. DP assist into Gudo, but no confirm. That happens every now and then. Chasing. SSJVG to Threatening. Moving. Perfect attack. Dead? Yo. 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 Yo, he's dead. Oh. He's alive. He endures. But he gets a mix up. He gets a mix up. He gets a mix up. Mm, the classic. Yes, you got it. You got to remember. Against characters that have those 18 frame J2Hs, they will use that to kill you. Oh my god, you got okie doked. Hit you with that okie doke. Okay. Into the knockdown. It's kind of spooky. Jab DR, aka command grab. He's gonna get another knockdown. He has two assists, so set up for sure. Covers. Sparking works out. He doesn't have like, I mean, he has Yamcha for comeback. Like, you know, he, he can make something happen, actually. He can make something happen. If he plays, like, a clean game right now, he can make it 2-2. But Fenris is going to have a lot of meter. Goes for the soft down. Doesn't call Yamcha. Surprise. High-low. Gets him with the low. All right. He's like, this is a kill. This is a kill. This is not a kill. <laughs> this is... Oh! Mm, 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 yeah, it's not a kill. It's not a kill. The combo is a little cat, but, like... You know, nice, nice correction. This is a tough selection. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a tough selection. Yeah, I'm just got bet, bro. You're not gonna block, right? So, Yamcha, the the Yamcha logic, and I've said this before. This is the guilty gear line of thinking. You're not gonna block this anyway, so you might as well do something. <laughs> that's that's the logic you use. I can't block this, so I might as well pick something. And he just he just bet wrong. And the EXDP would have hit the 5H for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, 2-2 two -two is not bad. He just has no meter. So he can't, like, do stuff. Here comes Cell. Oh, mashes out the jab DR. DP assist. Aqua not giving up. Get. This, this is my, that's my setup, bro. That's my setup. Where, where's my commission for the setup, dude? That's literally... You've seen this. You've seen this. 2019. April 2019. April 2019. With 5M at the 2S. The LK, the LK Shiki. The only difference is you don't get a high-low anymore. You, you used to get a fucking high-low slash fuzzy off this, but not anymore. Right? Because of the change. Oh. Alright. If, if you're ascended to Yamcha... If you're Aquas from New York, that's it. Aquas from New Jersey. Aquas from New Jersey. If you're a sender of Yamcha, during this auto combo, you're you're uh, buffering the what is it, Gil Claw? So that you can hit the incoming. You can hit that. Uh, it takes a little practice once you get used to it. Ooh Sniped him. Sniped him with the power pole. This is a this is a really even game. This this moment right here, this two two, pretty much decides the game. Uh, uh, ooh, the DP assist though. Blocks with flex. Ooh, gets it with the IDJM. Oh, I thought he was going to use the buff. No one has used the cell buff yet. But he's going to get 1-3. He's dead, right? Damn. What did I just say? This, that was like one of the most important uh, moments of the whole game. It's just like 2-2, two -two, no spark. Fenrich are, of course, cashing out, as we are all used to. Damn. Oh, he pulled up. My boy, my boy pulled up. He blocked that. Nice. Overhead blocked. Clash. DP. Okay, this is a fine transition. I'm not going to lie. Into level three. There's a lot of frame event. Ah... I mean, my dude's gonna challenge. He's dead? No, he's not dead. He's dead, dude. That's crazy. 1-1, one, one, that's crazy. So we get another Famish Goichi. <laughs> Damn, Aqua's right there. Aqua, oh man, dude. My, my dude's always right there, bro. I definitely feel bad for him. Winner, Fenrich. So we get another 
We get another dude and the delayed pop off. The wholesome. The best part about him is that his pop offs are delayed. So it's another. We've seen this many, many times at this point. And and we're playing we're playing multi blooded music, of course, because we got our boy, we got our boy Goichi out here. And we're gonna get the because some people on YouTube be complaining about uh, my choice of music sometimes when I do match analysis. So I'll play a mildly hype track for this, okay? Okay? So don't say my fucking choice of music is sleepy. That's the shit I listen to when I watch matches on my own. That's why I pick that shit. We Shop, of course, it's a quantum heater beat, but some people don't appreciate it. Bardock, Roshi, GT versus Cell, GT, SJ Vegeta. Wait, isn't this season three, but both teams have GT Goku? Hmm. Yellow Square, we made it. All right, they're starting. It's gonna be rough. He hit him with the gun again. Don't forget what I said. Look at the gun. Look, watch the gun. Watch the gun. Boom. He's really good at that. You have to be good at that to play Bardock. It makes you way scarier. Okay. Reflex. We try to double reflect Roshi. Into the combo that I don't like to do. I don't like doing that air dash jam. That's all. He doesn't spend the meter. Uh, you might be like, why not spend the meter? But the, the logic is generally... You don't want your opponent to have access to uh, sparking. Like, you don't want your opponent to spark you, and uh, you have no meter, basically, right? So you just let that meter sit. It's fine. If you have four meter, you spend the three. But if you have three meter, you don't do it. So, okay, Fenner's turning in around here. And he's going to get a level three knockdown? This is rough. Oh, he's gonna go into SJ Vegeta. Uh, he's he gets a mix up. Okay, he goes for ID JML into the command grab, as you call it, jab DR. It's one frame delay, but Goichi got scooped. It these things happen. And again, remember, if you didn't see the last time I uploaded one of these, uh, Fenrich won last time. So don't forget, don't forget, don't say this is free for Goichi. Fenrich shot him with the gun. Ooh, the little run under. Gonna go into 5H combo. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This combo's hype. This combo's actually even more hype, and I should've learned it at some point. But he did the, oh. Okay, scramble. Spark, all right, the game is starting. The game is starting, Goichi has seven bars. Here comes Cell, does not use the guard point. Come and grab, drop DR. He's gonna do soft down into assist call. Ooh, that was good. Reflecting the guard point. I would. Okay, he brings in GT. One, two, three. He should get some Oki here. Level three. So this level three is still really good. It's not a. It's not spirit bomb, but it's not spirit bomb. But you do get like safe jump. You get a high low and you get a cross if you're willing to do it. If you if you think they're gonna respect you, you can get a cross. Okay, the waiting. They're laying the strings. Goichi has to get out of this corner. Ah, okay, side swapped. Hits, oh my god, goes back in the corner. No, you gotta get out of here. Gets him to jail. Doesn't get punished. Chases, that auto combo sucks now. Waits, sell, 45 degrees. Fenrich controls the sky. He has the air to ground missiles, JS. Here comes Vegeta, oh, super dash anti air. Fenrich is like, I wish there was a world tour right now, dog. Okay. Get Cell. Spark. Whole Vanish. Oh, what? What? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Cell dropped the combo. He doesn't have these. Run under him. This actually is mildly spicy. Calls Roshi. Fenrich is the patience. I do this too. Again. Oh, like, I do this too. Look at Goichi's hands. I do this too. When I get hit, what? look at his hands when he gets hit. I do this too. I think every stick player does this when they get hit, right? Stick is so great for venting. Okay. You, you see him like wiggle the stick while he's getting hit as if it does something? It doesn't do shit, but... He has a big lead. He has, he has a big lead. He's dead? He's going to Spear Bomb. DR. Tackle. 1-3. Okay, the good news for Goichi is that he doesn't have to block a left right. The bad news is he's 
dead. <laughs> All right, Solo Roshi. So far, in my experience with Roshi, Solo Roshi is trash. Goichi with the head tilt. Okay. Okay. It's, it's fine. Just throw this game away. Reflect, reflect, reflect. He did three reflects. This game is evolving. This character's dead for sure, right? A, 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 A. Doing the Twitter combos. Doing the Twitter combos. I got spooked when he said the stream was down, by the way. Alright, again, this is supposed to be really difficult. Uh, maybe he can do it, though. Maybe... Oh, he tried... Oh, the guard point worked everywhere! Alright, 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 alright. I, he did it again, and it beats Key Blast. Oh my god, he was blows. Fenrich, a master of his emotions, though. You gotta level 3. He doesn't do it. Oh, mm, they tried Double Reflect. Roshi does have Anti-Reflect. Alright, wow. But he's out here. This game I said was over, again. I didn't say this game was over, though. I just said it's really hard to play Solo Roshi. It's super hard to play Solo Roshi. Because he doesn't have... Oh, ooh, all right. Nice. Really nice neutral with the Martial Leap. Especially since there's no... Uh, okay. Well, I was going to say, especially since there's no assist. So you notice basically that whole game. Goichi did not use the ground Super Dash at all. The whole game of Roshi. Especially during that Solo Roshi play. Right? Uh, with no assist there, uh, it is much stronger. For sure. Especially if you think they're going to Key Blast. And of course, SJ Vegeta has really strong Key Blast. The, okay. He's already in. Can I'm gonna of course you two people can't do this, but stream, I want you to watch this sequence that's about to happen after I press play and tell me why it's a crazy sequence. Okay, I'm gonna press play. This seek this is fucking Anybody? You, anybody? Anybody got an idea? Anybody? I'm gonna leave this in too. Why oh, take this sip? Reflect safe? Mm, no. Didn't mash it, Bardock. I would have mash. He tried to catch Thuggy Dump like three times. It's Saturday. I don't want to think. I have no clue. All right. Look. 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 Look again. Look again. Look again. He did fuzzy jump corner spacing auto spacing the medium. Damn! It so it's advanced. It, it actually no nobody got it. Still nobody got it. He didn't use assist. Finally somebody got it. Finally somebody got it. He didn't use the assist. He didn't use the assist. Remember, remember the thing I bitch about basically all the time when I play the game? Basically the main thing I complain, not complain about, but I mention, I say over and over and over and over and over again while I'm playing the game. Any, how many people are in the stream? 350 people in the stream? All of y'all niggas mashed. All of you mashed here. Don't fucking lie to me. Every single one of you guys mashed here. Every single one of you mashed here. I did not mash here because I'm looking at his assists. But you motherfuckers all mashed, and then I call SJ Vegeta on you. Everyone here mashed. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I jumped. No, you didn't, bro. Just, just be on. It's okay, dude. It's okay. You mashed. It's fucking fine. You mashed. It's fine. This is crazy. This is this is this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is this is OD. By the way, I blocked too, cause I I looked at his assists, cause I always look at assists. I, I always look at assists, so like, I, you see it in my play too, like, a lot of times I'm like, I won't do stuff because they have an assist, right? But, everyone here mesh. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, just admit it, it's fine. That's the shit I like to see. That's the shit I like to see. He tried to dash OS his way out. Oh, the command grab, everyone has a command grab with Jabdior. Do you think he call, He didn't call assists because Vegeta would have, no, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. There, there's, there's, uh, what's the word? Yomi Eye? Let's go, let's go back. What, okay, so what happens if he calls assist? 
Oh, I went too far back. Whoops. What happens if he calls assist here? If he calls assist, even even if Goichi reflects here, even if Goichi reflects here, the assist goes from like I'm gonna make up a number. Like on block, it's like plus 16. The assist is still like plus 30 on reflect, right? So like Fenrich is still plus, like he could do shit, right? And you're mid screen, so like not only can he like do shit, but he can like push you out of the Vegeta here still. So like there's a lot of shit you could do. Like the thing that a lot of people don't get about Vegeta is that even though you can reflect it, there's still a ton of shit you could do with it on offense. You can super dash, you can super dash, but he like, it doesn't matter. Like Cell has advantage. You can super dash, but Cell has advantage. Depending on when they call, either you just get punished for the super dash, you can get 2H. Like, there's so many things that can happen to you if you try to disrespect. Super dashing, like, straight up super dashing, is a huge risk to take against this. It's a huge, huge risk to take. It's much easier to reflect, right? It's much easier to just block the first half and reflect the second half. But there's also just a bunch of nonsense he could do to you because of the threat. This is why, what I keep trying to tell people, it's the threat. It's the threat of him calling Vegeta. That's the fear. That's the fear. Cause, cause, yeah, you can even do dash 2H, but like, you can call that assist and just dash and block and sit there while you just call Vegeta. If they reflect twice, cool. Your cell, you could just press LL and you're in again. If they do nothing, then cool. You just keep going. You know, push them in the corner. There's, it's, it's. This is what we call implied threat, right? Uh, there. there in most levels of play at Dragon Ball, there's not a lot of nuance because everyone's just trying to go ham. But uh, at like top level, like once you get to like a certain level of play or playing against certain players, these type of things become uh, more important. So now that you heard that, if you go back and watch some of my PSN adventures and you hear me say, that motherfucker didn't look at my assist, he's not paying attention to my assist, he's not paying attention to my assist, now you know why. Because there are situations where I can call my assist and like it's over for them right it's over but they ignore it and they just like get hit and i'm like oh shit they got hit or like oh shit like i didn't call it because i thought they were going to respect it and now i'm blocking you know blah, blah blah right but it actually does matter a lot at like the highest level it's a very important thing to remember This track is a banger. All right, we continue with the match though. That shit was crazy, by the way. I, I like that. That's the shit that gets me hyped. I'm not gonna lie. Oos! He he fought. He fired the gun. Okay, careful. Walking out. Vegeta dashes under. Oof. Right. So e e even when Vegeta doesn't work out, it's fine because you're just sitting there. You just sit there. It's fine. Gets him with a dragon rush. Remember, the game hasn't even started yet, really, because they both have sparking. So the point war is not over until both until somebody uses sparking. He drops a combo. Gets him with the die. Does he have a bombo for this? Is he dead? No way. Maybe. Shit, he's dead, dude. He's dead, LMAO. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Yo, he's dead. He's actually dead. That is crazy. That's crazy. Oh my god, he fucking died for real. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> all right. Here, Fenrich is up one. This is Fenrich's tournament, dude. We don't give a fuck about Goichi here, dude. At this tournament on 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 stream, the Japanese live stream, this is Fenrich's tournament. Okay, gets him the block, calls Vegeta. See the reflect? You guys were talking about reflect this, reflect that. Who gives a fuck, dude? You just sit there. It's fine. You sit there. His cell is coming back. It's fine, dude. How recent is this? Master Roshi is on the screen. That's how recent it is. Cell's in there. Blocks the overhead. Dragon Rush. Okay. Gets him to IDJL. Okay. Game is still going. Remember, they both have Spark. So, all this shit that's happening, the only thing is, like, Goichi doesn't have a comeback character. Neither of them have comeback characters, if I want to keep it real. So, like, if you're going to see a spark, it's going to be on, on this second character. Almost definitely. Overhead blocked. Uh! That was close. That was close. I was spooked. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of spooked by this interaction. If Femrish called this a little bit earlier, Goichi got smoked by this. 
Lucky here. Gets him with another Dragon Rush. Goichi feeling some type of way. He's trying to attack these Dragon Rushes, bro. Knockdown, level three. Spooky level three. It's Cell. Cell gets to the left, right. Don't forget. He has three bars and Sparking, so he's definitely going to kill. Gets him with the same side. Oh, but it's fine. Oh, I guess it was Dragon Rush. Game's over. Good job. Good job, Fenrich. 2-0. Oh. Fenrich 2-0 oh at this tournament series. Damn, bro. But I, I definitely respect Goichi playing the Roshi early. My dude's out here. I My dude's out here with this movement. Dude, you got to win with solo Roshi. Good luck. It's over. He has so much bars. Game's over. I definitely respect Goichi going for the Master Roshi pick like day three, though. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. That being said, that's two. That's two for Fenrich. Unless they're doing FT3 just to enable Fenrich, uh, Goichi, but. All right, all right, FT. All right, we keep playing. All right, we keep playing. We keep playing. All right, it's oh, it's the tournament's not over. Tournament's not over. Dive into GT. Almost got the happy birthday on that one too. Okay, spooky. Master Roshi to protect. Wow, what a super dash. That was like perfect. Okay, guess it down here. And a nice Goichi setup. Waits for the tag. Gets him. Uh, I would not snap. All right. He's singing one touch. Ooh, GT. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right. He's showing. He's showing the some of the forbidden tapes. He's showing some. I. I. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Kinda. The shit Goichi did with Snap was something that I didn't tell people about that's the only thing I have to say about that but he's really trying to win this that means he's trying to win this this is remember yesterday when I was like yeah I'm gonna post go tank stuff but like there's some stuff where we gotta save that shit for nationals where's that's that's save that shit for nationals shit I I I I, I can't I can't say more than that I can't say more than that. You have to you have to think about what that means on your own until until nationals. Cause you remember too, these two players are both playing in the JP Nationals. Scary. Again, SJ Vegeta. Are you man enough to reflect three times? Ooh! Happy birthday! Oh mmm mmm Hard choice. Hard, hard choice, hard choice, hard choice, hard choice. Gao blocks again. Super dash high low. 2M blocked. Keeps it in the corner. Assist not coming back. Dragon rush. All right, what do we do? Master Roshi level three. What does he got though? All right, show me. Show me. Show me. I will still tech. Okay. Okay. Two H to mm. mm. knock down here, level three. Again, so Fenrich has two bars, so this is danger zone for because he gets a left right. Ah <sighs> My dude's mixing you. Do 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 he's dead, maybe. SJ Vegeta. Oh he he should have been dead. This is, oh my god. That move, come on, bro. Oh, this is, don't reset him, just kill him. Yes. The easiest sparking combo in the game. Before I played Bardock, I was really impressed by that combo. And then I played Bardock, and I learned it in like five minutes. Yeah, that shit is so fucked up. And like, we just don't, he dropped it? You can't drop against Fenrish, bro. SJ Vegeta there, gets hit by the cross up. Who said that that assist sucks? Who said in this fucking stream chat that assist sucks? Jesus Christ. Just reflect, just reflect the assist, bro. Just reflect SSJ Vegeta. Just re just reflect three times, dude. Just reflect three times, dude. It's fine. It's fine. You got it. You got it. Reflect three times. Just reflect three times, dude. 
The good news is SSJ, so SSJ Vegeta actually has a mix, but I never see uh, Fenrich go for it. We we can be in here for the long haul though, by the way. I super dash that though. I don't believe that, dude. When you went like stream stream monsters, when they play people like this, you just fucking sit there and block. You just respect them like all day. Like, oh my god, I'm playing Fenrich. I need a block. He's so good. I got a block. I see it over and over and over. Yo, Fenrich is actually still in this game, by the way. As long as he has Cell still. Like, of course, this Vegeta is GOAT, but... No, not not a J2H. He has a Super Jump ID. So you have Super Jump ID Float and Super Jump ID Fastball as options. Yeah, this is actually a pretty even game. As long as he has Cell, especially. Like, like Fenri it's, it's Fenrich of Midgard for sure. Like, he does not really do the SSJ Vegeta mix. Oh my god, bro. What happened in this game? Dragon Ball? Yeah, he jumped right into it. He broke my rule. He broke my rule. He jumped right into it. Fenrich of Midgard. Fenrich of the mids. Fenrich of the mids. Chasing. Chasing. Don't get impatient. Sell. Dragon Rush Tech. Okay. 100 seconds left on the clock. Spooky, spooky. Wow. Waiting for the... Oh! Okay. Discipline. Chasing. Jumping. Movement plus sell. Okay, we are waiting for Cell to return. Dragon Rush Tech! Oh my god. Try, try again. Cell, hit. Cross up, blocked. JM, blocked. 5S, cross up JL, blocked. Dragon Rush! Ah. 3-0 Fenrich, oh my god. I said we were in here for the long haul about a minute ago. This is Fenrich's tournament, dude. He won two of these now. Look at the salty clap. Goichi's tight. Nuki doesn't give a fuck. He thinks this game sucks. Fanrush into delayed happiness. There we go. Yes. 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 That's what I'll do. Okay. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the matches. There was a lot of interesting stuff going on uh, in this session. Also, of course, the patch just came out, so we got to see some more of Goichi's Roshi. I have a pretty positive image of his character as well so we'll see how the character ends up developing as time goes on as usual if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below like and subscribe if you feel like it and i'll see you next time peace out